This is Faisal with you, and in this video, we'll explain how to convert CMYK to Pantone color. Alright, as everyone knows, the reverse process, converting Pantone to CMYK, is very easy. Meaning, if I have a Pantone color, like here, as soon as I click here, it gets converted to CMYK. But in the newer versions of Illustrator, they've provided us with a reverse conversion that everyone has been asking for for a long time, which is converting CMYK to Pantone. This used to be the more difficult method back in the day. You had to get your Pantone master, the Pantone catalog, and sit down with it. You try to match the colors, see which ones look similar, and which ones don't, and so on. And you'd end up lost in a maze. But now, the latest versions of Illustrator give you a way to match CMYK values to Pantone equivalents to Pantone. Let's see together how it's done. Okay, we can take any color. Let's choose a random color. Let's go, for example, to the green color. This one, okay, I'll take it and make a copy of it here. All right. This is CMYK, and this is Pantone. Let's just name it. And this is Pantone. Okay. Now, this is CMYK, and this is still CMYK, but we want to convert this color to Pantone. Let's see together how I go to Edit here. In Edit, go to Colors, then to recolor our work. All right, this box will pop up. Here, I select this small box you see, which is Limit Color Group. I click on it, then go to Color Books. Of course, I already explained about solid coded, Pantone solid coded, and solid uncoded. The difference between them is that the coded one is for glossy paper and the other is for matte paper. So, for glossy finish and matte finish. But for us, it doesn't really matter. The color codes are the same. We'll choose solid coded here. All right, I've selected it. Okay, now you might notice that sometimes there's a difference in the colors. I intentionally chose a green color because there is always a noticeable difference in the shades. That's because Pantone will show a difference when printed, so it always gives you the correct color. Pantone always gives the accurate shade. So, this CMYK color you see on the screen looks like the shade. But when you actually print it, it will come out like this. This is how it prints. So, this is the exact shade of the color. If you print the CMYK in this color value you see here, which is 70, 73. The print will come out looking like this Pantone color. And not all the colors you see on your screen will print the same. Meaning, if we pick a color other than green, for example, let me open a box here. Let's say, for instance, I took a copy of this particular shade of red, and now I want to convert it to Pantone, just to see exactly which Pantone color it matches. Okay. I click on the box here on the color box, then on solid coded. You'll notice there's still a slight difference, but this is the correct Pantone color. That was our method for converting CMYK to Pantone color. This is a great method in Illustrator. It really simplified printing for many. It used to be a hassle. I hope everyone understood the method, and if anyone has any questions or inquiries, please write them in the comments and I'll definitely reply.